must all pay for your sins. Sins you committed. This is personal. Someone's idea of revenge. We are talking Death Count, which is also known as Numbers, and this one is directed by Michael Sue. It stars Sarah French, Michael Madsen, and Costas Mandalore, and it's best described as a uh, cross between Saw and Ten Little Indians, two properties this movie actually directly references. Now, I recently watched a movie called Terror Trips, and I sort of said that it's kind of like a low budget ho homage to the Hostel movies, and this really is a low budget homage to the Saw films. What is the story? Well, it focuses on a group of people who seem to have a, a common thread between them. They all seem to be um, connected to this kind of, uh, sort of school, and they are kind of held captive by this mysterious figure known as the Warden. And they are being held in these kind of prison cells type things, but they have had kind of a, a bio, sort of biotic explosive implants in the back of their neck that they found to comply that explode in kind of gory fashion. And we do see this happen in the movie. And they are forced to go through a variety of torturous tasks, all while being judged on the internet to get kind of likes and things like that. Now, what will happen, you'll have to watch the movie and find out. So let us discuss what I think works with Death Count. If you are a fan of extreme horror, if you like your movies gory and bloody, if you're a fan of movies like Saw or Hostel, and you don't mind a bit of a lower budget film, then you may want to check this one out. Because I do feel, uh, you know, certainly it will kind of, um, you know, a, be a movie that would be appreciated for those gore hounds among you and they don't shy away from uh, the kind of the death scene here the vast majority of which are shown on screen in excruciating detail with a low budget little caveat in there and i've got to say you know the movie does wisely stay away from kind of cgi kind of you know exploding heads everything here is done on a practical level and you know it's of mixed results let's just kind of be honest but i always find people are kind of tend to be more forgiving of uh you know somewhat kind of rubbery practical effects than kind of fake looking kind of cgi but i gotta say again i'm kind of juggling this movie on the budget here uh the, it, it it does have a lot going on in regards to different kind of uh, types of deaths you know we get people's head explode, we get people kind of sprayed with acid, we get people's kind of arms torn off, all sorts of things uh, happen within this kind of movie. And it's not even the deaths, because we also have our characters who have to perform painful acts of torture on themselves to avoid being kind of killed. So there's a whole lot of uh, blood and screaming going on in this kind of movie. It actually has a somewhat of a kind of a nasty sort of feel to it, to, to be brutally honest. And this, this setup is very much like Saw. We have this mysterious figure who is kind of masked and, you know, the, the game's master, so to speak. And we have a kind of B-plot involving kind of Michael Madsen's cop who's trying to track down our kind of killer as well. So it really does feel very much like uh, a, a kind of unofficial kind of Saw movie in a lot of ways. Another thing I kind of liked here was a little bit of kind of social commentary on things like... Um, you know, how people are getting desensitized, uh, you know, what people will do to kind of get likes. And it has got a little bit of kind of, sort of commentary on, you know, social media kind of culture and things like that. And it's, you know, it is obviously prevalent in this kind of day and age. Uh, so that was, you know, it was, it's a little heavy handed sometimes with that sort of things, but nonetheless, I thought it had, at least it had some type of kind of, uh, interesting thing kind of going on there uh the cast is, is a little bit of a mixed bag but i do think for example sarah french does an okay job as our kind of our main characters as does a couple of other ones here as well and there's always something going on this movie is not a particularly kind of long film um but it, it you know it there's so much kind of gory goodness in here um it, 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 there's, 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 you're never kind of waiting too long for the next one. I mean, this our kind of games master, the warden, so to speak, doesn't give our victims much respite. Uh, they are constantly having to kind of like, you know, hurt themselves in kind of different manners, including pulling teeth out, extracting kind of fingernails, drilling holes in their hands, all sorts of stuff. So, you know, if you like your gory films, you're probably going to like this one. What doesn't work for me, uh, the 
The movie's not much in regards to kind of plot, to be honest with you. It is kind of recycling saw. And I have to say, there are some elements here that I think are a little silly. Um, the motivations of our antagonists are weak, to say the least. So you're thinking, really? This is kind of, and it's a little bit like, it doesn't quite make sense. Our games master, the warden, I have to say, looks a little bit silly. They obviously look, oh, he looks a little bit badass with this kind of like this get up that he's wearing. It just looks silly. That might have looked okay in the 80s, but in 2022, it, it looks very hokey. Um, as I mentioned, some of the kind of the effects are on the rubber race, and I'm personally forgiving of that, but it is worth mentioning, you know, for those of you who kind of only want very kind of, you know, realistic kind of effects. It, I think it's fine with the budget, however. The acting, as I say, is a, is a kind of a mixed bag. Um, you know, some do better than others. I'm not going to kind of point out who doesn't maybe do a particularly good job. Uh, but yeah, it, it is, is a kind of a mixed bag. The whole kind of police storyline, the B-plot, I understand they want to have different kind of locations, otherwise it will just be these kind of dingy, dingy kind of prison cells. So I understand the inclusion of that, but it, I, I feel like... There's a lot of screen time devoted to that where it, it actually contributes very little to the actual kind of plot overall. Uh, to be honest, the Michael Madsen doesn't seem like he's had much direction, to be honest. He more or less is kind of just doing what he wants, at least how that kind of comes across on screen. To be fair, that's how he kind of t tends to come across in most films these days. Yeah, but the, the police the police kind of storyline seems is somewhat kind of artificially inserted in, in some respects. It feels sort of tacked on. But I did kind of, I, at least I hope we have a little bit of a, some different kind of locales there. It's very much setting itself up for a kind of a sequel and trying to create a character in the kind of the warden. Um, so overall, you know, it, it's it, it's a good movie if, you will, if you're into your just gore films and you want to see lots of kind of like practical deaths because you'll get a lot of it. And I think that's probably, you know, I see a lot of kind of like comments online about that, you know, good kills and things like that. I prefer more of an interesting narrative, to be honest with you. I thought the narrative here was, you know, it was okay, but it was just, it was a bit silly if you ask me. And I have to be honest with you, a little bit of an overreaction uh, when we do learn what's kind of, um, you know, the uh, impetus behind what's, what's happened and things, but there you go. Uh, but yeah, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 because I do think it, it, it will find an audience and people will enjoy the kind of the creative kills here, the, you know, the, 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 the practical effects and the kind of the, um, you know, the old school kind of nature of, of this kind of movie. But those of you who want a bit of a kind of a more sensible and believable kind of story may, you know, want to look to the, the Saw franchise itself, really. So it's a 5 out of 10 for me. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.